Last year I showed you how to make a snowflake design pattern in motion and this year I've turned it into a generator for Final Cut Pro users. Now let's just take a brief overview of what's going on here. We have a design mode. This is the Snowflake Designer. After you're done, you can animate them for your video. Or if you need both, you have an on-screen control here to position the master design to be used for like a lower third or something like that. So anyway, let's just start with the designer. You have four on-screen controls over on this side of the screen and basically they represent some very basic shapes. There's a line shape, a triangle shape, a circle shape, and a square shape. And you have some fine controls over here. So you can scale and if you want to eliminate one of these shapes from your design, all you have to do is scale it down to zero. Now, this says circle doesn't look like a circle because it's being kaleidoscoped. This is the most different looking on-screen control here. These other on-screen controls have angle controls so that you can turn the pattern and create different effects. So it's pretty simple. You get a feel for it right away and uh, just go ahead and design your snowflake. And when you're done, you can just flip this over to animate. And it'll animate the snowflakes in. And for the animation you have, well the master scale can change the size of these flakes. You can change how many snowflakes are produced by the birth rate randomness, how long they live on the screen by the life randomness, and how fast they are moving by the relative speed. Uh, in order to mix things up a little bit, I recommend that you go ahead and let me move this up a little bit. Duplicate. Let's go back to the design mode. Go ahead and first of all, let me move this off the storyline. Run it in Command Option Up Arrow, and now I can move this over some video. I can duplicate this by holding down the Option key and just drag it straight up. Uh, I'm going to zoom in on this area a little bit and duplicate again, duplicate again. And for each one of these I can go ahead and hide the one behind it by uh, selecting the clip and typing V to disable it and I can make slight changes here for this one and then for this one we'll just go ahead and disable that select this and something like that. It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Disable that. Come into here. And let's Alright, so I've got a mixture here, 
Yeah, and I'll tighten this up a little bit. And re-enable these. And turn off the designer section. Okay, which one did I do it for? With this many flakes going all at once, it's going to slow down. This will look good when it's rendered. I'll just drag through it right now and turn the birth rate down on some of these. And anyway, just play with these controls and get the mixture that you like. You can change the animations and directions by hitting the random seed. And that's basically it. So. There you have it. I hope you find it useful. I hope it's in time. And you can download it from the link in the description below. It's free, just like all the rest. And happy holidays, everybody. Catch you on the next one.